The head of the Russian general staff, Valery Gerasimov, was informed in advance by intelligence about Ukraine's preparations for a ground offensive in the Kursk region, but ignored these warnings. As Bloomberg reports, citing a source close to the Kremlin, Russian intelligence knew about the Ukrainian army's planned operation two weeks in advance, but the Russian military leadership ignored these reports. In particular, this information was not reported to Russian dictator Putin. The agency's source notes that Putin will most likely not decide to fire Gerasimov, despite the large-scale cleansing in the Russian Defense Ministry, but the dictator's patience with the general is already running out. The day before, Gerasimov reported to Putin that the advance of the Ukrainian army in the Kursk region had allegedly been stopped and promised to reach the borders of the Russian Federation, but since then, the situation of the Russians in the region has only worsened. The Ukrainian armed forces continued their offensive and occupied several more settlements. At the moment, the Ukrainian military controls an area of more than 400 square kilometers. In addition, they managed to capture several dozen Russian soldiers. Analysts note that the Ukrainian offensive took the Russian army generals by surprise. The Russian troops were poorly prepared and in the first stages of the operation offered virtually no resistance to the Ukrainian armed forces. Sergei Zyanov, former intelligence officer of Russia, called the rapidly developing events in the Kursk region dangerous, realizing the recklessness of Putin, who has nothing left to lose. Out of desperation, the Russian dictator may even strike the Kursk nuclear power plant, since he does not care about the consequences. The former intelligence officer recalled the statements of Russian propaganda during the war. The Russian side has been talking about the Ukrainian side preparing terrorist attacks at the Kursk NPP for three years now. This is a narrative where we even suspected that Russia itself wanted to arrange some kind of incident at the Kursk nuclear power plant and then blame it on the Ukrainians and thus gain the opportunity to use tactical nuclear weapons because it turns out that such an incident would untie the nuclear hands of the Russian Federation. Вот она, вот она колонна. Обратно возвращаюсь, уже огня нет. Уже только дымится. Но вот что осталось. Вот что осталось. Стреляет. Стреляет? Вот и пасы. Поворачивайте нахрен. Есть. Вот и пасы, говорят. 